today with a new project maybe you've tried this before maybe you haven't but we're going to make a long rope necklace that can be wrapped around your neck twice but yet have a pendant on it and that is called technically that's called a sautoir s-a-u-t-o-i-r it's a french word i don't know what it means i have to look it up i should have but it's called sautoir when you have a long 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 rope necklace with a pendant on the end, and you can wrap it around a couple times. Now, back in the late Victorian and Edwardian days, women loved sautoirs, and they wore them a lot, and they left them long. They'd be hanging almost to their knees, but uh, they had the long, elegant dresses, so I guess they didn't look bad. But anyway, I wouldn't want it that long, so I'd rather wrap it. So I'm gonna show you how you do that, how you plan it out. This is our project, I have it on. It's not quite done yet. Um, but I'll show you, I'll teach you why I have this little bead here in the middle of nowhere. I'll show you what you can do with this pendant to make it reversible. So it's a reversible pendant. So before we do it, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would appreciate it so much if you would. And you know, that way they'll notify you when I'm coming on because we have a lot of new content coming on. You don't want to miss it. And also... If you don't mind, if you like, if you sincerely like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, you can make a comment. I do respond. I try to respond to everyone. So I will talk back to you if you leave me a kind comment. So I appreciate you. And come on over here and let me show you how to make this reversible pendant sautoir. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is my reversible pendant on a long rope chain. This chain... If I stretch it all out, you can't even see it all. It'll go off camera. Um, but it's about 60 inches long, okay? That is actually opera length when it comes to a necklace. So it's a very long rope chain. But I mentioned that it was a sautoir. In particular, it's, you know, it is a rope chain. That's fine, you can get away with that. But if you want to be particular about what it is, it's a sautoir. And that's an SAU. S-A-U-T-O-I-R. Yeah, T-O-I-R. I think I'm saying it right because I asked Google and that's what they told me. <laughs> but anyway, it's a French word. And that means that you have this pendant on one end. Now this could be a very small pendant. It could be any size you want. But there's a pendant on one end of the long, long rope. And then it enables you to wrap it around your, your neck twice and adjust the length. So you could have this up close to your face and this be longer under it or vice versa, however you like. It's a really fun thing. It's a fun necklace to play with and change up. But you can change this one up even more and I'm gonna show you why. This is a beautiful little kind of arabesque, Moroccan style type uh, pendant. Beautiful, we have them on the website. I think we had a few on Etsy too. I don't know if they're still there, but you can get one from us easily. Javi will get you the link later from the website. We do have some then it's antique gold, very pretty. I put these feathers on the end of it. It kind of also gives a little bit of Native American vibe with the feathers. I don't know, I may change those out later. There may be a few adjustments I make, but I just wanted to give you the idea of it because we're going to have a challenge on lavaliers. So toises and, and lariats pretty soon, and you could come and join us, and I'll tell you more about that closer to it. But this is a sautois because it has a big pendant or a pendant on one end of a long opera length 60 inch necklace. Okay, so you can see I just put my sections in. You know how this goes. We've been doing this a long time, so that's why I went ahead and did it and I didn't trouble you with it. Um, but what I do with these is I always measure right in the middle of the end and I put a bead or something to show me that's my middle for when I drape it around because sometimes it's hard to find. And um, I could I could have continued putting more beads around, but I didn't this time. But that tells me where I am in the back because you don't need a clasp with this. You don't want a clasp with this because it, it could be showing right in the front of your neck and look silly, so you don't want that. But anyway, I was starting to tell you why this is so special. I'm going to show you. Because if you flip this over, it's a basil. So can you imagine what you could do with that? 
You can use your UV resin and glitters and inclusions. You could get your mermaid sand mm -hmm. and put down in there with the UV resin. That would be awesome. Um, or you could get Cerulean or epoxy sculpt or anything like that. It has to be resin clay. We will have epoxy sculpt probably in 10 days at our website. Um, but I've been using Cerulean until now. I'm going to use it today. And a two-part resin epoxy clay, okay, that's what you need to do a mosaic in here. That's what I'm going to do as a mosaic. So I have mine already mixed up, and you guys know how to mix this up because we've done it how many times, right? So if you forgot, or you're not sure, just flip back and find some of the other mosaic bead videos, maybe toward the beginning of the series. I can always put see. a link too. Okay, that would be awesome, Javi. <laughs> Javi is so helpful, I'm telling you. So I'm just going to twist. I really, I mixed up really too much. I'm not, not going to need this much at all. In fact, I'm probably not going to need this much. And guys, please uh, forgive me if my hands are a little bit messed up because I can't stand to use this stuff. It is too much. I can feel it already. I can't stand to use this stuff with gloves on. So then it stains, kind of. They say epoxy clay doesn't do it so much, but we'll see. Okay, so I took my little dough bowl there, and I stuck it in the middle. And you've seen me do this too. I'm going to push it all out to the edges. I want to be sure it goes all the way out to the edge. If I had, to add, if I have to add a little bit to this, it's not a problem. You don't want it real high, because I might, in fact, I might do that right now. You don't want it real high because you don't want it going over the edge of the bezel like we talked before. That doesn't look nice. That looks messy. So we want to keep it away. You know from going over and you know one thing that can happen is when you put your little mosaic pieces and stuff down in there too um, you know they disperse the clay a little bit and they can mush it out over the side too it's kind of like when you put a pebble in water then the water level goes up right so it's kind of that same principle so you want to keep it a little bit shy of the very top of the bezel but you do want to go completely to the edge you don't want to see any of that yellow uh, antique gold metal showing anymore it needs to be all covered up and if this is a little bit you know bumpy lumpy whatever uh, you can smooth that out because you do want to get it as level as you can but you don't have to worry about it looking good because we're not going to have any of the serolin exposed some people when they do that they might just stick an ornament in the middle and then uh, they'd see the serolin. If it's got thumbprints and stuff all over it, then that's not too good. See, I'm going to take this off. You see what it did? That is a case in point. It just went right over the edge. So I'm going to have some messy hands when we bees done. But that's okay. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. So you can have some fun too. I love doing this. I'm so glad we're doing bead mosaic stuff now. I'm going to try to include it with um, vintage stuff as much as I can because I've really noticed that people are taking much more interest in vintage and vintage is where I started anyway that's my first love and so I love to make vintage style jewelry so that's why I'm calling this a sotois <laughs> other people would probably just say it's a rope necklace Brenda get over yourself okay very good now we're going to start out I'm going to do kind of a big um ooh. We don't need hair in there. That happens. <laughs> Cat hair, probably. Okay, um, I know. I was going to do this with kind of big pieces this time. You know, normally I do like really little ones, mm -hmm. but I'm going to see what it looks like with bigger pieces this time. So let's have a little fun. This is kind of what I thought. This is the way I worked it out last night. Of course, I didn't um, start it because I wanted to do this with you. But anyway, see, it's going over over here too. You do have to take care of that. So I'm sorry, guys. All right, here you go for now. All right, so I'm going to take this beautiful check button, which we sell at the site. It's a button cab. You see where the shank would have been? It's not there. So it's flat like a stone. And I'm going to center it in the middle of my circle of a pendant as best I can, trying to get it as even as I can. But I don't think I'm going to push down yet, because when I put my sides around the edge, then I'll know a little bit better. So I'm not going to push it down yet, but how beautiful is that? And boy, does that go pretty with the beads in it, too. Then I thought that I would take um, 
some of these mosaic pieces that are bigger. Could you and, bring it up a little bit? I'm sorry, thank you. Yeah, I, I always tend to take it down so I can see it, but you guys got to see it. So I'm going to do one, you know, pretty much Ooh. even to that, going this way. Oh, that looks nice already. Yeah. I thought maybe it might be fun to make it with a little bit bigger pieces. Okay, so I'm going to do that down here. Too. Now, you can do this any way you want. You know, you might say, well, I wouldn't do that. Well, that's fine. You don't have to do it that way. This is how I'm doing it. And, you know, maybe you'll get another idea from seeing the way I do it. I think it's pretty good for centers, so um, I'm going to go ahead and push this down. This is not very deep, but you got to get, so you got to get this pushed down in the best you can because you want it to hold. But it will definitely hold for you. You will not have to worry about that after it cures. Now, it might take a little while to cure, but if you've mixed it up properly, it will cure pretty quick. I'm looking for another one. I like better. Here, I like this one better. Okay, so I'll put this here. Okay, so I've got kind of like an X shape. All right? And that kind of complements the shape inside of this button cap too, huh? So that's pretty. So we've got some Nelly Fiori beads, flat ones there. So now I don't really have it worked out, so now I'm going to do some thinking now. And I'm going to do the best I can, and I hope to finish this with you while we're on camera, but I'm not going to take all day and night. But you're going to get the gist of it. And that reminds me of a windmill. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a windmill, huh? <laughs> See if this goes. It might be, might not go now. No. Well, maybe it does. Yeah, this color's here. Okay. I hope if I can fit it. It's always a learning process. You know, you make one, you say, hey, you know, I don't like that one so much. And the next time you just make it different. That's all. No big deal. Don't sweat the small stuff. You know what? Something I found is a lot of things, oh, you're worried you made. Um, and here it doesn't look so good and all that, blah, 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 you know. You think it's just so bad looking. And then you say, well, I'll show my friend or something. Your friend goes like nuts over it. Everybody's like, oh, wow, that is so cool. So I never think it's, you know, all terrible. Now, I didn't bring, um, I didn't bring my tweezers down here. And I did not bring, um, my little curly beads, so I may not be at, able to add those. We may be able to get along with them, too. So, But you see that, you know, where I'm going with it. So I think I'll put one of these here. One of these here. And then when I get back up into my office, I'll probably set a little chaton in each of those. Okay? And oh, when it's going to tell you, this is a new mix that I just made for doing this. You see this? It's mostly metallics. There are rhinestone chatons in here, glass wheels, all kinds of stuff. And I'm giving some away free with the orders this week. I'll have the details in the description and you'll see it there. This is the week. What's today? March 13th? 12th. 12th. Okay. <laughs> so March 12th through 15th. If you see this video, you can ask for this. Um, when you have an order at Bisu Boutiques, and there's a minimum, um, it'll be in the description, okay? If you have any questions, just, just ask me, okay? Most of you know where I am at Facebook, so just ask me, or find me at the site. Anyway, this is some cool stuff, and I'm going to work with it a little bit, too. So, I'm going to do, in fact, I'm taking these girls out, because I can, and I'm going to do this, as I love these. I just love these little waffly, oh, it would help if I got this out of the way, because you could see it better. These little waffly, these are in this mix I just made. Um, isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, then I have some little silver stuff in here. I'm sorry. I just have such a hard time with that. This is going to work. Oh, awesome. And then all I'll have to do is I'll put a little rhinestone in there. Or a little pearl. Awesome. Now, you could do that all the way around, too, and not put those other beads in there if you want. All up to you, because it's your thing. It's your thing. If you know what that song is, you're <laughs> old like me. 
Here's your thing. Do what you want to wanna do. <laughs> do you know that song, Javi? Yeah. Oh, man. She heard it on the good oldies, huh? I don't know. That's from... <laughs> I used to have that 45 from the 60s. Okay. All right. So I need, basically, I got this corporate. We don't want to have stuff corporate in there if we can avoid it. Is it? You know, you know, things look good. All right. You press it down in a little bit because it kind of sticks up. All right, so now I need something for right here, for sure. And then I may not worry so much about the other, or I may just fill in with seed beads upstairs when we're done later. But you're getting the gist of it, how this goes, how this works. It's so. wrong little medallion there. <laughs> yeah. Got your own stuff here. Okay, so. That's really nice. I got, huh, these might work. I have these little polymer play slices. Sometimes I give them give them out free with the orders when I have them. These are so cool. Let's see if I can Oh, it's like a no, little flower. Um, little itty bitty flower. It's like when you cut them. Um, yeah, like those little canes that you cut Canes, them. that's what it is. Yeah. See, I don't have my tweezers down here either. So yeah, that fits. That fits right there. Push it in a little bit. And then I could still get, I probably can get two in here. Yep. And then I could still get um, a little pearl or something. Trial and error. Yeah, that worked. That's kind of odd. But odd in a good way, maybe, I hope. Oh, see, now when I twist that again, that moved it. Hmm. See what I go through? But you'll go through it too when you do this. I'm trying to see, do I have something here that would be a little better, but would... No, I'm gonna stay with these, I'm gonna make it work. Dang it. I'm gonna make it work. There are some here that are just a little bit smaller, so maybe this little guy will pop in. I'm getting a good feeling about it. Yeah. Yeah, he went in there. Or she went in there with a little flower. Just make sure. See how it spilled out over the edge? It displaced, right? Yeah, so, bring it a little bit over. Okay, I'm sorry. It displaced a little bit, so I had to clean it off. I had such a terrible time with that. We'll have a big party when I learn not to do it. How about that? We'll have to celebrate. It's anytime it's mosaic, it's, you have to get up close to that it, it make Yeah, it makes it and hard. And, you know, I'm an old lady, and I wear triple bifocals, so, you know. Do it need to explain I mean, this more. is pretty good, actually, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> she's not complaining about me not getting that into the frame too much. But she's not complaining. She's helping me. She's the director. Oh, thanks. <laughs> she's the director and the producer, both. Because when we get done with this, then she takes it upstairs and works on it. And makes it look better. And puts a little song on it and all that. We just got to remember to go in there and make sure that they are not putting on ads in the middle, like stopping it. You have to watch something because I hate that. And sometimes they just sneak them in on you, and I don't like that. Okay, this is pretty good. Now, the only thing I can say about this is it's kind of fading away a little bit, but I can always resolve that by just gluing a few little beads over top of that and it'll still look very good, and the level will still be appropriate. So I'm gonna put a little tiny cab, or bead, I don't know if it may be one of these. Could be, oh, that's pretty. Um, you know, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use glue to do that. Put a little thing there, and I might put a few little beads in here, and a few little beads in there to fill it up. But isn't this pretty? Isn't this just pretty? So now, you could wear it both ways, and if and if it swings around on you and you're working with it, you don't have to worry about it because you got something on both sides. It won't look dumb, <laughs> like it's unfinished. Don't that is showy. Everybody's gonna stop you when you're wearing that and say, "Where did you get that?" And you know what you're gonna say? You're gonna say, "I made it. I made it." So remember, it's a 60-inch long rope. I use these long tube beads that we had this site, but I think we're kind of low on them. I'm going to have to special order them because I have to have them made. I so think we have more in bags. We have maybe, but we have other things like that that you could use. Or maybe you don't even like those. So then you just use, you know, beads or however you want to do it. 
is fine, but try to get your chain out to 60 inches if you possibly can, okay? And then we have other pendants like this that are, you know, a little bit room on the back that you can go over and you could do, you know, um, something in the back, you know, resin or an inlay like this or whatever. But yeah, you go from this, which is planar, to this. You go from, oh, that's nice, to, oh, wow. <laughs> okay guys well i hope you enjoy that idea and remember that word so toi i hope nobody writes and says i'm wrong the way i said it, but that's how the google oh. said, that's how the google guy said it so Nobody's perfect. i don't know i always tell people i know about 500 words in french but i can't make a sentence and i can't say it i just know them when i see them anyway okay you guys have a great day thanks for watching with me tell your friends about me would you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and we'll catch you next friday okay bye